Taurus, what is going on, my dears? They can't ignore us. It is me, right? It is she, right? It is Viva, right? it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it. I am in the building. Yes, indeed, for February 2021. We are in here to have some fun. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. If there is anyone that would like to send some love over to my page or would like to book a personal private reading go ahead and click the description on this video or click the about tab on my youtube page all right you know as always we want to give the father the creator the universe whatever you want to call him uh acknowledgement and just you know thank him for just bringing us here today as the collective for the sign of taurus so Bow your heads with me. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Taurus. They cannot ignore us, Father God. We are shining like the beautiful and brightest golden star, Father God. We thank you for how far you have bring, how far you have brought us. We thank you for um, you know, the journey that you have in front of us that we have yet to go. Cause we know that we're still marching along. We still that we we still know that we're moving ahead and that we're collecting ourselves and we are um, gathering new skills and understanding ourselves more and more day by day as we're going on this path, Father God. So all we ask is that you give us some wisdom, some clar um, some clarity, some guidance for um, where we currently stand so that we can understand where we're going and just how to show up there and just, you know, be who you want us to be. So, Father God, thank you again for giving us all the guidance and the wisdom that you have given us and that we've received in the past, present, and, you know, the blessings that you've got for us in the future please give us guidance for the sign of taurus thank you all right so it is february so we're gonna you know, have this love energy on out here we got our love oracle decks. so let's see what we got here now i did record another video that i scrapped because i was being interrupted so i may go ahead and just drop that for you guys a little bonus because I was almost done the reading but I was I just couldn't do it this is too much give me one card please Elizabeth Taylor all right so we got Elizabeth Taylor it says don't run so fast that you can't be caught you can be a big fan of marriage just be an even big fan of diamonds True friends last longer than marriage, however many times you marry. Don't run so fast that you can't get caught. Be a fan of marriage, but be an even bigger fan of diamonds. You know, the reason why I, I, I like that, because it's like diamonds last forever. Even through relationships and stuff, like, still those diamonds pass on. Like, they're, they're heirlooms. So... Make sure that your relationship is something that is an heirloom, something that will stand the test of time, that people will talk about, people will cherish, people will pass down just how beautiful that experience them being around. Have you ever been around a couple that they loved each other so much? It was like that is the true definition of love. And whenever you talk to other people and you be like, no, I know love is real because my grandparents or because my this this and that or I, i've seen it it is like an heirloom it is like a precious diamond it's something that gets talked about and it gets passed down and it's like a precious diamond it's like a jewel you know so make sure that the people that you bring into your life are precious precious it's about the lifestyle it's about the upkeep you know Diamonds are forever. Don't run so fast that you can't be caught. You can be a big fan of marriage. Just be an even bigger fan of diamonds. True friends last longer than marriage. However many times you marry. It's not about the fact that you have it. It's about the value of it. It's about the true value of it. Because some people do get married and they just connect it to people just to say that they're married or just to say that they have a connection. But does it have a real value to it? And again, I'm being forced to tell you that it's, to me, I feel like the real person is right in front of your face. 
And it may be somebody that you probably just look at as a friend. Maybe someone that you might have just had in the friend zone. True friends last longer than marriage. That friendship will last longer. It says the truth just popped out. Truth. So this says, when everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words, your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. Wow, that is powerful. It's the whole, your words come from silence, not fear. Because, like, have you ever really sat back? Like, when you really are just quiet. Quiet. You get to see things and, like, the truth is, like, so clear. When you calm the fuck down sometimes and you just be quiet and just let shit unfold in front of you. That kind of has something to do with, like... The other reading because like it was like a tower. I, I'll have to post it. I'll have to post it. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Sometimes just speaking to someone. Is there someone that you're not speaking to right now or someone that is not speaking to you right now? Sometimes the act of just speaking, you can get the truth. If you want to know how someone truly feels about you, the art of speaking and not speaking, it, it, it'll tell you a lot. And you will learn when you truly know the truth about a situation, you will learn when to talk and when to shut the fuck up. Sometimes just the act of speaking is a blessing within itself. Hmm. That's why it's like diamonds, 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 diamonds. Hmm. Hmm. You do the Lord, dear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. It's some truth. Some truth is coming out right here. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. It's saying, I just heard some treating somebody as an object or something. And again, you see those birds right there. It's communication. I'm trying to tell you. It's like, ooh, someone is a talking to someone. And I'm trying to tell you someone's true friend or something. Or the truth, the truth is right in front of someone's face. It's like it's right in front of someone's face. And if you just like. It's just right in front of your face. Alright, give me guidance here. Tell me what's going on with this Taurus for February. Thank you so much. Give me guidance for Taurus. Thank you so much. Give me guidance for Taurus, February 2021. Thank you so much. Ten of Emotions. Okay, Ten of Cups. Okay. Page of Voices. Okay. Page of Swords. Got an onlooker. Alright. Someone studying. Someone gaining some type of introspection. Some type of information. Some type of clarity here. What is this? The star in the reverse. They just say... They just say... I, um, I don't want to be famous. It's like, I don't want to be known for something. It's something that you don't want to be known for. And it's very, very important to you. Um, with this Elizabeth Taylor here, it's like, you don't want to be known for being a cheapskate or just being a cheap 
individual. It's like you want to be known for quality. Um, I want it, it's like quality, like almost hard to get, unobtainable almost. Um, you only want the best of the best. Um, but at the same time, it's something about this deep star power within. It's just, it's not showing for some reason. It's like, it has something to do with someone's behavior. Um, I don't know why I'm getting like one night stand type of energy or something. Like cheapskate. It's like you don't want to be known for being like a cheap date or a cheap thrill or something like that. Um, diamonds are forever. Don't run so fast that you can't get caught. So it's like... The stars like hope and faith and things like that and belief systems and things. So it's like your wishes being granted, wishes coming true. So I don't know if it's that you're running from love or it's like maybe your deep wish is to truly be caught and you want love and you want possible notoriety and fame. But it's like you run from it. It's like you're scared of it or something like that. Um... It's like you're not doing what you got to do in order to obtain the position or something. Like you may have a whole bunch of one night affairs or things that you think are love or something. But it's like you're not looking for true friendship. You're not looking for true like value or worth in a relationship. Or uh, or you're not living on a scale of like where you're bringing out your true value, your true star power. You should be beaming. You should be glowing. It's something about someone running away from the responsibility of fame, of notoriety. Um, it's like, I feel like sometimes it's somebody's not wanting people to know the truth about you. It's like, I feel like someone is scared of fame or to be in some level of position of where everyone is looking at them or something like that. You got the page of swords here. So, um, this is like receiving a whole bunch of new information, a whole bunch of new downloads, like, um, like uh, on looking eyes, like people may be looking at you, but you're shy or something like it's, it's like, People may be checking you out and be looking at you, but you may be nervous. You may be shy. You may be timid. You may not be ready to show people that you can sing or you may not believe that you could be a singer or that you can do whatever, whatever. But it's like people are looking at you. People are looking at you. And then you got the ten of emotions here. So what this is basically telling me, it's like you can actually achieve like this success, this full advantage, the full happiness, like everything that you've ever wished, like you really could get it if you if you believe that in yourself. But with that star in the reverse, it's like no hope, faithful belief in it's like no belief system, no faith in their self. And they don't believe that their wishes could come true. It's like other people can see your skills and stuff, but you may not be able to see it. What is this? The ace of material in the reverse. And then the muse of voices. Yeah, I feel like some, it's like I you want. It's something about speaking. It's something about speaking. Speaking, speaking up. Like mastering voice. Mastering your thoughts. Mastering communication and like some level of understanding and education and it's like high knowledge. It's like someone's being tested to be able to show that. Someone's, I feel like someone's not like living their inner truth or something. It's like you may go around and deal with people on a level beneath you just to kind of feel like you're leveled up you know what I'm saying but you really need to be tested it's like time for you to like step out and show people your skills like show people your ability like you know believe in yourself like like do it like don't just 
Don't keep running from it. Don't keep running. Because I feel like someone is running from something. Some is, somebody is running from something. And people are looking at you. But at the same time, it's like nothing is materializing because you're not working on it. It's like someone isn't working on something. I want to say it's like their arts, their craft or something. Or even just the ability to have a relationship that's more than just like a one night affair. Or, you know, just you thinking you in love and you going out there getting married. And how many times has Elizabeth Taylor got married? And I forgot what the other the other card that y'all got in and the other reason reading. It was saying something about someone being I want to say it had something to do with people being married multiple times or something. Mm -hmm. I can't remember because every time I close off for him, I'm reading. I can't never remember what was said. But things are not materializing because it's like you got to face the truth. Um, I don't know. It's like... It's something about these onlookers that you're worried about. I don't know if someone has some like stress or anxiety about people. Because even if you look at her glasses, you see how it's like, you know, those vanities with the, the star vanities with the um, lights all around it or something like that. It's like someone got their eyes on you. It's like some, I gotta, I gotta clarify this a little bit more, y'all. Because the ten of emotions is wish fulfillment, complete happiness. If you learn how to speak up, like if you learn how to master your voice, and if you learn how to, the art of planning, how to pick something off of the ground, it's like really sit down and plan, really sit down and try to work this out, like try to work on something so that you could get like something material out of your efforts. Like don't just go and wing it, you know? Please give me give me more guidance here. You said the muse of materials. That just came out too. So this is y'all are having to master two different crafts here. It's like the art of working and the art of speaking. Like these are like the king cards. So like this is the king of wands. This is the king of voices. So you have to learn how to. If you learn how to speak up, believe in yourself, and like knowledge, like study, information is key. The more you know, the more you'll show, the more confident things will grow around you. The more you educate yourself, it's like some type of reform thinking or something. You can dance, you can sing, you are a very talented and fruitful individual. You have to learn how to master these crafts and master these arts because there's a lot of beautiful things coming to you, like seriously. But if you don't see that you're a star and if you don't believe that you're a star, no one else will. And if you're so scared and worried about the onlookers, people are supposed to look at you. They're going to look at you. You're beautiful. Like, to me, like, the star here. This is someone that's a star and doesn't know that they're a star. This is someone that is lucky, that has a lot of blessed things around them and doesn't understand it or don't realize it or something like that. I don't know. Give me one more right here with this page of voice. And then the two of inspiration. Y'all had that in the other um, reading too, the two of swords. No, this is the two of wands. This is not, y'all have the two of swords in the other reading. This is the two of wands. So the two of wands is basically saying that you're ready to go on this new pathway. It's like you're tired of where your life currently stands. It's like you're not amused by it anymore. You're ready to move on. You're ready to leave a lot of that wherever it is that you're at currently in the past. And you really think that there's more blessings on the other side. And there is. There is. Like don't worry about how things going to look. If you trip and fall, you got it. 
And again, I really do feel like there are some people that are just better yet not worthy of talking to that you need to set to the side because the two of wands is when you are like setting certain shit to the side to give yourself another chance to start a new beginning this is right before you make a, the transition to leave this is the thoughts of leaving and moving on starting something new you're being inspired i want to pick up and do something different you know what i'm saying so you have to do careful planning the Ace of Pentacles is right there. It's saying that you have to be inspired by these changes and you got to work towards it and you got to make the change. You have to make it happen. Do you understand? That's why I'm saying you have to communicate. And even this is the page of voices. So the page of voices is also like a whole bunch of opportunities, like people looking at you, people maybe sending you communication offering you a chance to speak to them about some opportunities you know they want they look forward to seeing you again they see you as a star but you may not see it but still there's still very material blessings growing in front of you like you are being given the key to walk down this bridge to a whole new beginning do you understand so you guys are like in a great place like honestly where i'm feeling it's like you just got to believe. You got to believe it. You got to believe it. And at the same time, it's about quality. It's about quality. And it's about you seeing it in yourself. Because there's going to be a lot of open doors, but a lot of doors ain't worthy of going into. You know what I'm saying? Like it says, don't run so fast that you can't be caught. So it's like... Something or someone or an opportunity or some situation has their eyes on you. Recognize yourself for who you are so that you can get all of the blessings that you're supposed to. If you don't see yourself as a star, you will be treated less than one. You can be a big fan of marriage. Just be a bigger fan of guidance. Make sure that it's worthy, that you're worthy, that the experience is worthy of that rock. That it's going to last forever. True friends last longer than marriage. However many times. You can marry and marry and marry the wrong motherfucker. True friends. True blessed experiences. You can't get that if you don't know who you are. If you don't know you the star. You can't really. You, you can have your the true person that's supposed to be with you right in front of your face. And you can be friends on them the whole time. And you don't even pay any attention to it. Give me guidance for Taurus and love. February. Two more cards, thank you. Addiction. Engagement ring. Not today. What is this? Cupid arrow. I don't know. Am I taking these in the reverse? So not today. Engagement ring. Addiction and Cupid arrow. So you not feeling something. And I'm really. You're not feeling something. I feel like you're not down to. Trying to hear and have this conversation about like commitment, where are our relationship going, where is you know where do I stand in your life and all this stuff like, eh, I don't really want to hear all of that shit right now. I really don't. Like that's where it's like that's where I am kind of getting the bachelor or the bachelorette type of energy right here. It's like, eh, eh, eh. Like this is someone that. Again, doesn't see their potential, doesn't see their beauty, doesn't, uh, it's like, you can have so many suitors, so many people falling in love with you, so many people trying to marry you, but it's like, you're not interested. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you could be more in love with the thought of being married than actual blessing of, of being married.
you got the addiction and cupid arrow so there's someone i want to say that's addicted to you and they're very much so in love with you so it's like you have this way with yourself where when people get around you they fall in love with you and it's like they follow they follow suit just like everyone else and they follow they fall hard they fall hard um yeah someone is really stuck on you and i feel like you're not trying to hear it you're not looking I, I just feel like you're not looking for like a serious connection for some reason in love um mm, 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 mm. give me two more cards i don't know why i guess i'm just nosy give me two more cards one to clarify not today Ooh. then not enough flipped out there's not enough love in this relationship for it to last there's like there's someone nagging the Taurus about you know they want to open up the lines of communication like where are things going like I want to be married. Like, I really love you. And this, this, and that. And this person is not trying to hear it. Like, there's not enough love here. Like, there's just... I want to say that there could just be sex. This could be one of your little boy toys. This could be just, like, one of your little flings. Or, um... You know, it's just... Mm-mm. Mm -mm. It could just be, like... This could be, again, like, someone... Like I said, uh... uh Someone that is like in love every other day and they fall out of love every other day type of thing like that. They just are in love with the thought of kind of being in love. And then it's like, but once the person really, really starts to love them, they just start to reconsider like, eh, eh. have you ever met someone like that? It's like when they like you, everything is real cool and everything is real good. But as soon as you started showing interest back with them then they start falling back or some shit like that why am i getting that give me um guidance over here with this addiction and cupid arrow give me one card yeah there's not enough love here the thought of commitment is like frightening to whoever this person is um mm -mm. clarify the addiction and cupid's arrow please you got the boat. So it's and this came out in the reverse too. So it's like it's like someone that's gonna to have to move on, but they don't want to with this muse of voices and the upright. I feel again, it's like I feel like someone needs to master the art of communication like if you don't want to be with someone anymore let them know so that they can feel free to dance and do whatever they need to do you need to be a man or a woman about whatever and just communicate and let people know where they stand with you because it's like you open up this door and you get people all addicted but at the same time you wasn't really planning on it going nowhere it was no plans for it to really materialize into anything and it's like now you can have someone constantly looking at you look researching you like investigate and trying to figure out well why you're not talking to them what's the truth you know what i'm saying like this is like someone finding something out like looking trying to understand what the truth is like why why isn't this person talking to me why isn't this person talking to me? Like, I don't feel that star energy. I don't feel like I'm the star in this person's life anymore. But at the same time, I can most definitely be in love. Like, I can see myself having children with this person. I could. I thought we were going to be married. Like, I can see all of this stuff. But, you know, tens can represent endings, too. You know what I'm saying? So, it could be, like, the end of the... The fantasy, it looks like there's a breaking down for someone where there wasn't any planning. Like, there wasn't any planning. Like, this person is looking elsewhere. Thoughts of looking on. Already carved the little window out. <laughs> you see, whatever, they, where they just think they're there. They already carved the little window out there already with their telescope looking to move on. So, it's like the ship has sailed. And I feel like someone probably hasn't realized it. 
like there's still this addiction there's still this love there's still this want this in, in this desire but someone else is inspired to move on and go somewhere else um and again i still feel like on a material level there's someone that has some untapped potential in regards to like their skills and ability and they need to master certain elements about themselves so it can shine through all right so let's see what this is saying here we have the seven of chalices and then the five of pentacles so a lot of options may have opened up for someone um someone is most definitely having to like search deep within to figure out what's right for them they're coming out of a situation of lack of sickness um like i want to say like a level of depression of mental health like Again, it's something about this star in the reverse. So, like, if you have been going through some type of lack or some type of point in your life where you were having to pick yourself up from the bottom, where you weren't believing in yourself, like things were just not working out for you, you were going through some financial struggle, some lack of stability, um, like your... It, you just felt like your frequencies were just not the fucking line with the universe. <laughs> what you were trying to tell the universe you were trying to do. Like things were just like, you were just getting denied, 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 denied. And it was just like, what the fuck, man? Like what is going on? And like now the things are just finally like open up and it stopped raining. Actually, all of the rain that you went through, all of those storms created a lot of growth around you. And now that things are opening up. You're just paying attention to your blessings and having to take the second to go inside and figure out kind of what's best for you here. But someone definitely does have a lot of choices, has a lot of options. So I can see them looking elsewhere if they've been going through a position in a place of lack and a moment of lack in their life. And now things are just finally open up for them and they finally got a little bit of money and things like that. So it's like. If you're on the receiving end of some energy where it's like you were talking to a Taurus and things were all good when shit was fucked up with them. But now that things have been turning around, it's like you feel like you're not enough. Like things are not the same. Like whatever. It's just, uh, I don't know. So, damn, now I forgot how this was in my hand. Okay, I'm just going to take it like this. You got the Ace of Wands. And the temperance in the reverse, but I don't think that the temperance was in the reverse, though. I know that the temperance wasn't in the reverse. So I'm just going to take it like this. You got the Ace of Wands and the temperance here. Um, this is some somebody trying to start all over again. Someone trying to, again, regain strength and the ability of believing in their self, their faith. Like... Pouring a little bit of that hope and belief into their foundation so that it can really bring blessings into their life. Um, I really do feel like the truth is, is that there was someone in this situation. I want to say that's kind of had struggles with growing up a little bit. Um, may have had a few love affairs that they thought was love, but really didn't think that far into it to realize that it was just a marriage. It really didn't have any value. Um, yeah, it was just in a lot of situations that I really think that didn't bring any value. Um, this person could be running away from, they could be running away from their opportunities to be with really solid people. Um, Because it's like, I want to say someone chases the sense and the want to be valued versus really having the value. That's why I feel like this star energy right here is in the reverse. Um, you could be a star, but if you don't know you a star, you're not going to act like a star. So that's why that don't run so fast that you can't be caught. This person is a very lucky and beautiful person, but they just may not know that. They may not recognize that. And I do feel like they may have a lot of people chasing behind them. Um, still may be young, still may be learning with this page of voices and ace of material. It's like they're still learning how to go about things 
I don't think that they intentionally hurt mean to hurt people. Um, but it's like I feel like they do things without planning or without true understanding because the page of voices is someone that just jumps out there prematurely and really doesn't understand what they're doing. They really didn't take the time to educate themselves on something. Um, I definitely feel also that this person has talent that they're not using, skills that they're not using, ability that they're not using, other than having people fall in love with them. And then once the people fall in love, they're ready to move on to the next. And reject, like, there's someone here that has a gift for, and a vernacular for making people fall in love with them. There is some type of love addiction here. And I feel like they are intrigued with people. Listen, they are intrigued with people with the Page of Wands. And as soon as the people that they're intrigued with fall in love with them, they're ready to move on to the next. Again, the Page of Voices, like they may speak out immaturely, like before they really get to know someone to understand like if they really really like someone they'd be kicking a whole bunch of bullshit and then just like I don't, I don't. <sighs> no planning no planning a lot of options here with that um seven of cups this person has to go inside and decide what they really want who they are you know um so they may be Going from one thing to a next. I really do feel like this person is trying every cup. Because they may not have, have had this before. Do you understand what I'm saying? They may just be coming out of a situation. Where there was a lot of struggle. And things are finally looking up. And still they don't know their worth. So they feel like they can run around. And pick and choose. And whoever this person is. That I feel... There's someone that's in love here. And the truth is, is that this person sees happiness, the Ten of Emotions, somewhere else. The Ten of Cups, somewhere else. And this person is struggling with violence because the temperance is, was in my hand in a reverse. So I am going to acknowledge that this person needs to focus on, like, again... If the temperance was in the upright, that star would be in the upright. If you don't know who you are, have no faith and belief in yourself. No matter what people see in you, if you don't see it in you, <laughs> you know, this person has to believe in something greater than their self. And I don't think that this person has that. Um, I really feel like someone's lacking value here value and that could be why your true mate your true husband the true true partner that you should be with it's probably right in front of your face and you're not recognizing it because it's about the beauty and the experience for you not the wealth not the legacy you know, not the worth. Make it be about the worth. Anyone can get married. That don't mean that they're happily married. You feel me? Make sure that when you put that ring on your finger, it has meaning and it has value. Alright? So, spin y'all reading. <laughs> I am going to upload both of the videos. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace.